this will be recorded. Um, I'll most likely have this um, posted to YouTube and social media before 5 p.m. today. So if you know people who have missed it, I'll send out an email. I already have it ready to go. I just need to pop in the YouTube link. So um, with all of that information, Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Christy, are you on the call? I'm going to make you a co-host so you can let people in from the waiting room. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you guys for being here today. I do apologize for the glitch in the system that where some of you didn't get your information on Monday when I sent it out. We have since fixed that. If you ever feel like you haven't heard from me in a few days and you think you might need to, don't hesitate to reach out. That way we can get to the bottom of why you're not getting information and things like that. So um, for our state leadership conference announcement, Oklahoma BPA state leadership conference will be hosted virtually this year rising COVID-19 cases in our state, the increasing travel restrictions being placed on our chapters, and the need to plan and host a safe, socially distant, quality and financially sound conference were the deciding factors when we made this difficult but necessary decision. I do not have all the answers right now, but I guarantee to you all that all competitions in each division will be offered and that we will attempt to virtually recreate as many conference experiences and opportunities as we can. This includes mid-level competition day, state officer candidate campaigns, and SLC in its entirety. I know this is disappointing. I am also disappointed. When I told the state officers of this decision last week, we spent some time expressing our feelings. We vented, we appreciated what we can still do, and we celebrated what we are able to do with this new format and the unique possibilities it brings. Yeah. My only request at this time is that you all grant me the month of December to come up with a game plan for how things will be packaged, delivered, and conducted. We are hoping to maintain the same deadlines that we have already published. And while the way your students compete might be different, the topics and content will not. They can still prepare, they can still practice. Registration will not increase, and if possible, we will lower it. We are finalizing demos and contracts with several different companies to create the best virtual SLC experience possible, and I will release more information as I have it. We recognize that some school districts have restrictions on various platforms and will be working with you to make this conference accessible to all participants. Your Oklahoma State Executive Council has chosen a theme for this year's SLC that will be released via social media in the next coming weeks. That is, is definitely something to look forward to. I will now open the floor for questions. You can type them in the chat or you can ask them out loud. Okay, are there any questions right now? I have a question, Paxton, just real quick. Yes. Um, they had sent some of the um, last year's evaluations from competitions, but I didn't get all of mine, especially like the guy that qualified. Are they still coming, like filtering through them? No, um, and that is one of the things that we've been trying to work harder on at each SLC is really emphasizing to the judges that they need to fill out all of those forms. But the reality is, is that sometimes the judges just don't have time to write those explanations out after each contestant. And so we don't always get forms for every competitor. So what you have received is what we have from State Leadership Conference. We've cleaned out everything that kind of got thrown in our storage room right before we started teleworking after SLC. So we have scoured for all of them. That's all we have. Um, if you have, if you send me an email and you had like online competitors that did a pre-submit, I can look and see if the judges left scores for those. That might help out a little bit. Um, and this year, I think that with it being virtual and the judges judging kind of on a more um, varied time schedule, they may have more time to input comments for you. So we may see actually more comments this year because they're not having to write them out with a pencil and paper. Thank you. Are there any other questions? I 
So, and when I say we're looking at how to translate every experience, I definitely mean it. I mean, from those of you who intern with us, we have tried to figure out ways that you can still do that. Um, courtesy core, we're looking for ways that we can um, implement, you know, all the really small things up to the really big things as well. Because we know that each student's experience is more than just competing. It is, you know, the whole state leadership conference. So if you think of any little things that mean a whole lot to your students, if it is courtesy core or if it's, you know, um, a workshop that they really enjoy or a time during conference that means a lot to them, send me an email and let me know. Paxton? Yes. Yeah, that's Terry. Okay, um, I'm just double checking. And um, so with the officer, um, going in doing in December and stuff and I know you were saying campaign are they still going to have to have campaign supplies to campaign you know how they usually mm -hmm. do give giveaways and stuff I mean will they still be doing that I mean they no um I mean you might um that's when we get to screening those officer candidates who are there, I'll explain to them kind of how we're going to change up the campaign process. Mainly, they're going to be building a um, basically like a web page and they'll be able to have a Zoom feed where they or a Google Meets or something like that, where they can go in with their advisor. That's the only thing that will be majorly different is that we'll have to have an adult in there with them okay. um, so that we can still conduct a campaign um, a campaign room so that students can go and visit each candidate and talk to them. So I'm really excited about that. I think we have that kind of figured out in the best way possible. Um, and they, it won't be as costly as it typically is. That, that's kind of what I wanted to know for, for them, their budget wise, what they needed to. Um, we may gather. allow them um, a little bit of a budget. It definitely won't be the normal $300. Um, if they want to produce, you know, things for their background or if they need to help, you know, do something like that. But that's one of those things I'm going to have to figure out what other states are doing as well and see if there's something they might need to pay for before we just say, don't spend any money. Okay. Paxton, there's a question in the chat. If students qualify for nationals, will they receive stipends? So typically, um, the stipends have varied from year to year. As you all know, we do have last year's money available. So that's something that um, we do have. And we've talked about giving more to the students who qualify or making it available to more students. Um, and so typically, that has been given to students who place and who attend nationals because it is made to help offset the cost of attending nationals and that registration. So if they, if when we do give out stipends, because we have the money to do it, um, it will help pay for like their registration and things like that, which I know doesn't necessarily help the tech center. So that's one of those things that we're going to try to figure out for everyone, um, you know, whether because we want the stipends to be beneficial, whether nationals is in person or in um, virtual. So we will give those out. Um, we're just going to have to figure out kind of the stipulations and make sure we're following the rules on that. We can't just give students money for winning out of the BPA scholarship fund. It has to go towards their nationals expenses. Okay, let me get back into the chat. Um, is it possible to use the platform that you, was used for summer conference? That is a possibility, but I think it would be limiting to us um, because it's basically an LMS platform. We have found one that is built directly for virtual conferences where we can still have vendors, we can have the campaign booths. Um, it will allow students to kind of build points so that they can compete and we can even give away prizes or you could recognize what your students are doing. So for example, for the campaign booths um, and the app that we're looking at, um, if they visit one, they might get one point, but if they visit, you know, all of them, they may get, you know, five extra points for visiting all of the campaign booths. So in that way, you can also track as their advisor um, where they, what they've been doing, what they're collecting, what they're seeing, that kind of thing. So this one is definitely made for conferences and it's not just a um, LMS platform. So, and one of the, you know, um, especially we have to make sure that our conference is, um, you know, ready to use for students who are in your classroom, who students who may be in your classroom one day, but at home the next, and then students who are just at home completely. So that when we look at how students are submitting things, how they need to be uploaded, how they're competing, all of that's going into consideration because we know that some students aren't seeing you 
at all other than via Zoom or something like that. Some students are still in their classrooms and then some are, you know, on an AB schedule or something similar. Are you going to need graders for competitions this year? Yes, so we're still going to need lots of help. So don't worry about that. Your assignments might look a little bit different. For example, um, with the officer campaign, that's an example. Anytime that a student is in a Zoom room visiting other students, we'll have to have an adult in a room like that. So there will be situations like that where we may need more of like a proctor or a chaperone type person instead of your normal job. So don't worry, you'll still get to help out. Um, if you're attending SLC, we'll have some shifts for you to do and some different jobs. Great question. We'll still need graders, we'll still need judges. So if you have volunteers, send them my way. Um, we have a question about last year's stipend. We have saved that money for this year. Um, because we did not have nationals, we can't give away a scholarship for nationals. So I'm sorry, I know that it's not fair for, I know it's a hard thing, it's not fair for those students, um, but it's just kind of the rules that we have to follow with our money. We can't just write a check to a student for getting a place. It was for attending nationals. And since there were not expenses associated with nationals last year, we cannot give out stipends for last year's winners. Um, and as far as, is there anything you can do for your first place winners? This has been something that we have talked about in every state advisor meeting I've been to since May. Um, everyone has asked you, can, if we have it in person, can they come? Is there something they can do? Can we do something special for them? Um, we don't have a great solution national wise. If someone from Oklahoma wants to help head up an idea for something we could do for our winners at like a state level, I'm all for it. I'm happy to recognize them. I don't necessarily know what that means. Um, I can't really allow them into the competition with their projects just because it's a different year, different set of projects, all of that. But I'm happy to do some sort of recognition, recognition thing for them. Or if we wanna figure out a way to recognize them, I'm all, I'm all for that. Um, when will they announce if NLC is still on? I have not been given a date, um, but I do know, you know, they talk about it at most board meetings. And as soon as I know um, and can let you all know, I will. And I know that they will be um, probably sending it out via the source. You might also get an email from Dr. Ross herself. So just be watching your emails for that. Um, and as, when I'm updated, I'll update you. Okay. Are there any questions or if I missed your question, feel free to put it back in the chat to get it back on our eyes. Okay, well, um, I'm going to stay on until the last person logs out in case anyone has a question they want to ask me. Um, the only deadline I really have to update you guys on, a couple, I guess, um, virtual events, December 1st for the national virtual events. Um, that's also the deadline for our state officer applications. So I encourage you, if you have students interested in that, it's going to be a really great year. Screening is virtual and it's on the 15th. Um, and actually virtual screenings are, um, they go a little bit faster than the regular screening. So you're not just sitting here all day. They're a lot of fun. Um, and I think that that is it. Everyone have a wonderful and restful and safe Thanksgiving. If you have questions or any thoughts that you think of between now and the next time we talk, send me an email. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.